time for a little change. The day has arrived, so far. The uh, reckoning is upon us. How long have you had uh, oh, that shirt, those pants, those shorts? It's a good question. Longer than I care to remember. Or probably today, care today, to admit. What, today is day 36. Day 36. <laughs> And maybe I changed the first lot on somewhere around day 20, so. No, that's not too bad. Not too bad. But probably longer than you want to wear any of these clothes. It's certainly not smell or cleanliness. It's, it's all temperature related. <laughs> and how many did you bring? Are you like, is this a here until the finish kind of change? This is, yeah, this is me until the finish. Shorts and t-shirt. Good to go. I brought three sets of thermals and managed to use two. You're thermal rich. It's not going to be so much thermal these rich. Things. And the fleecy pants managed to stay in the bag the whole way around. So obviously it wasn't that cold. Looking forward to uh, just changing up a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's been a little bit of uh, talk of showering going on. But I'm almost at the point now where I can wait until I arrive and do the job properly rather than half arse at the back of the boat. <laughs> Been stinking for 36 days. <laughs> Almost 300 miles from the finish, so yeah. <laughs> I reckon I can make it. Hey, where does that go? Does that go straight to the bin, or are you going to try and salvage it with a wash? No, no, no. These will wash up just fine. They don't even smell bad now. <laughs> Recycle the food bags. This bag is reserved for the very smelliest. Let's get set of three week old socks in there. Straight to the incinerator. I'll just leave it in the laundry for Maria to find. <laughs> I think with Amro, there's a pair of thermal bottoms that were in like a Ziploc bag. Yeah. Some I'd like put, chucked him in the laundry or whatever, or chucked him in the laundry pile. She's like, oh, don't worry, I'll do it. And then like sat there until Baltimore, and she was like, <laughs> <laughs> but she stuck with me. So <laughs> true love must have been love. <laughs> She has that main look up there. <laughs> Finally has some breathing. Starting to look a bit tired about that. She's still in one piece, though. But the lid is uh, going a bit, uh, it's opening a bit. It's still, still there, so it's good. It survived the 20, it had to survive the, the night. And it did, so it did a good job. So I think we're pretty good for the end of the race. Yeah, that number there now, is how far it is to the finish line. So only 168 miles, but in that 168 miles, plenty can still happen. It's uh, slowly getting lifted, breeze is filling in from the south. We know uh, biothermo over here somewhere in the southerly as well. So, uh, and then we got a uh, keep lifting and then we'll jive, we've got some downward sailing. Should peak out about 20 knots and then, uh, and then sort of start to ease off again into the night, into the morning. So we might have quite a light finish. So, uh, Chances are, the approach to the finish would be anything but straightforward, but that's your racing, so. <laughs> I don't know, personally, I'm feeling pretty upbeat and pretty excited about getting there. Super excited to see the family, but uh, also, you know, excited about putting in a really good effort in these last 24 hours and uh, doing everything we can to grab this point that's on offer, so, uh, yeah, up for a fight. <laughs> Gonna give it everything. When you think behind, it's been a lot of days, a lot of effort to get there, so yeah, I think we need to try to, to give what we can in the last push, and I'm yeah, sure if we can put biotherm behind us, it would be a good reward for everything we, we did.